So I was already running late and then I get to this random part of the road trying to get on 95 and it's added 14 minutes of traffic. So it's good. Um, this morning was a little rough. I woke up and I don't know why I had the urge for this. I must have had a dream or something like that, but I was like, or maybe I was just like, it's actually getting really close to one Bailey. He's his heart guard stuff, but I've been trying to find a vet for almost a month that has an opening so I can just get Bailey in to do a heartworm test so he can get his heart guard medicine. So heart guard protects from heartworms. Um, it's like one of the worst things that your pets can get and they can't even give them heart guard medicine if they have heartworms, which is why you have to do the exam first. So you do the exam like once a year, I'm pretty sure. And of course his heart guard slash heartworm exam situation would have been like 10 days after I moved out of Atlanta. So I was able to work with the vet to continue his Prozac that he's on all the way until like March, April-ish, but they can't help me out with this one. And I was getting really irritated because I, I didn't realize that you had to do the exam. When I looked back at his vaccine reports, I saw like that is something that you're supposed to do. And I think you can write like waivers and stuff like that, but we're not in Atlanta. So like, I'm not trying to use that vet, but I wasn't planning on staying in Maryland this long. So I didn't really make it a priority to look for a vet for Bailey. So I'm still gonna try and find one, but luckily um, my dad was calling a bunch of places this morning and we were able to find an appointment for next week. So it's going to be like in the middle of the day, so I'm just going to have to tell work like, hey, you can come in, but I'm going to have to leave early because I have to take my dog in or work remote, whatever they think is best because I'm going to have to go back home first. And then we got to go to Columbia. But unless they want me to bring Bailey in. I know Natalie has brought her dog in before, so <laughs> that is always an option. But um, yeah, so I have that all figured out. So I'm very happy about that. I was crying this morning. So I'm about to get my period, so my hormones are like completely out of whack. But when I get frustrated, I start crying. And I'm the type of person where I am not afraid to ask for help. Like whenever I hear people say that they can't ask for help, I'm like, I can't even understand that concept because when something happens, I'm no longer a self-sufficient person. I'm like, we must request outside help. And it's because I know myself and I know that I'm not the best at being able to internally calm myself down to a point where I can come up with a plan. And I have people in my life that are a lot better at doing that. Like my boyfriend, the perfect person in all ways. I could come to him crying about whatever it is and, you know, I get hit with a little bit of empathy and then he's like, okay, let's come up with a plan. Let's get that plan together. He's like, we got this. It's not that big of a deal. I'm like, the world is ending. He's like, I promise you it's not. And it just helps calm me down. It's incredible. It's funny because I was basically that person for my ex-boyfriend and it was absolutely exhausting. So I really try <laughs> to be as self-sufficient as I can, but every now and then I do need help and you know, I have people in my life that have made it clear that it's okay for me to ask them for help. So it's always with consent. Speaking of my boyfriend, he's currently in Chile, living his best life. Um, he is hiking, whatever that mountain is there. I can't remember what it's called. Excuse me. He's doing a three day hike. So when he first got there, he didn't have any service, so I didn't hear from him for like two days. I'm not gonna lie, I was like kind of freaking out because I get scared. Like I want him to be careful. If I don't know what's going on, it makes me really anxious. It's not an attachment style type of thing. It's like homies in another country and I don't know what's going on. So um, I was able to talk to him two days ago and then for a couple minutes last night, he randomly had service again. But the Wi-Fi is really expensive. It's like $9 a day. 
So I was able to talk to him like two days ago and then yesterday he randomly got service again for a couple minutes. So I was chatting with him then, but he's staying at a tent and everything. I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts on camping. I'm more of a glamping type of girl. I love being outside, love nature, love hiking, love water, love, love, love. I don't like sleeping in a tent, however. It just feels like I'm not supposed to be here. Like, I just feel like, why am I in a tent when there's definitely like a cabin nearby? It's just, it's not giving what I wanted to get. Driving through Baltimore is always just so interesting because Virginia drivers aside, <laughs> uh, people really don't know what they're doing. I always say, let the crazy people be crazy. Let them do their craziness. Don't worry about it. Just stay out of their way. If someone is driving so fast behind you and they swerve around you to to try and get around when there's no space, when you're taking an exit, speaking from personal experience early five minutes ago, just let them do it. Don't honk, don't do anything. They know, and everyone else knows, that that's not how you drive. So you honking and starting stuff is not really gonna benefit anyone. They're not gonna learn, they literally do not care, and they live in their own world. <laughs> But we went to check out this barbecue spot that is popping up at this food hall. Um, and apparently it's really good. So I'm gonna try some of Natalie's and see how it is. But this was like the most people we pulled up with. It was so funny. It was literally like five or six of us. So it was just every single woman in the office and it was fantastic. But I'm gonna go back and probably eat my soup now. Our Wi-Fi is apparently completely down, so can't work. So might as well just eat some lunch and relax. It's my outfit, by the way. I'm wearing this LA sweatshirt crew neck. I got this from Brandy Melville the first time I went to go visit my boyfriend. I'm wearing my favorite jeans from Burlington, mini Uggs, and then this beanie. Don't comment on my hair, please. It's not even, I haven't laid it down or anything. This is just, what we had time to do. But I'm excited to put back on my Kiari wig, which I'll link down below because that wig is just top tier. We're gonna give it a good wash and reinstall her for the weekend. I should also wash my hair. So much work. <laughs> that I had in. So I had these mini braids in because I did faux locks 
And so last night I put this dressing on all over the braids, all over my scalp, literally on every inch of my hair. And then it took me about an hour and a half to take all of them out. So now I'm about to wash my hair. So one thing that I don't do is I do not detangle my hair when it's dry after I take those braids out. And the reason why is because my hair is not tangled. I feel like before I started to understand how to do my hair, I thought that I constantly needed to be combing it out and doing all of this stuff where all I need to do is just finger comb. Like why rip my hair out when I don't need to, you know? So um, I will hop in the shower, throw in a conditioner and then go through and I'll put it into parts. And then I like to wash it in parts, condition it in parts. But this is the conditioner that I use and this is the shampoo that I use. I swear by these products. They work really well with my hair. The moisture that I get from these is just mind blowing to be honest. I use them on wigs. I use them on my hair. Um, I really, really like their stuff. This conditioner, this is the shampoo, but the conditioner version of this is equally amazing. Um, I picked this up because I thought that I was getting conditioner, but I just can't read. So I went ahead and I got this one, but I actually really like this one too. So this one has shea butter, coconut oil, and macadamia oil, whereas the conditioner version has the coconut milk, mango butter, and guava extract. So I really like both of them. Check them out. You can usually get them on sale at CVS, but these are what I use. I don't use a deep conditioner or anything like that. Um, when I get out of the shower, if I'm styling my natural hair, this is what I use. I don't use gel or anything. This is all that I use and it makes my curls look crazy. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different you must be made for me patience is nothing in and out in and out in and out arguing trifling difficult let go i don't know why you love me yeah. you got it bad you got it past me babe i don't feel that completely dry so I've not put any product in it or anything yet but this is what it looks like when it's still wet it's in the process of shrinking down into absolutely nothing so love that for me um but yeah so this is what my baby little curls look like before there's any product in them um yeah so I think I, maybe I'll attempt to stretch my hair. I've never stretched my hair before. Maybe I'll do this while my hair is still wet because like I said, it is drying so fast. <laughs> We're gonna start with that much, if you guys can see that. It's a pretty decent amount. I just run it through my fingers until my hair is basically white. I'm going to try adding mousse because this girl is using mousse and I haven't done that before. So i need some of this mousse that I have that I usually use. I know we are supposed to hate Shea Moisture, but this is a really good mousse. So.
card is in my laptop, but my hair is basically dry enough. I still have some pieces, as you can see, that are still a little bit white. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the clips out, and we're going to attempt to stretch my hair with, like, cool air on the blower dry. Oh, why can't I talk? Why can't I say that word? Why have I struggled so much saying blow dryer? All right, so I guess we'll do this one first. Okay, so it actually really does like work. That's so funny. And then do this one. I've never worn my hair down like this ever. Like when I was wearing it out for that month, I usually did a bun or a ponytail or my space buns, which are like my favorite. But yeah, it, it actually kept it like semi parted. I feel like I still need like, I guess I kind of actually, I do have my part. And then do people bobby pin their hair down? I'm like, how are we doing this? In to keep my hair where I want it to be. I think that's why I'm just gonna stay like that. And we'll just kind of semi part it. Like I said, like this half of my hair is still like a little bit wet, but I'm just gonna use my second clip. So just keep it out of the way. I'm gonna hit it with cold air for quote unquote less heat damage. Um, and I just see people take a section stretch it all the way down and then hit it right at the roots. So let's try that. Huh, would you look at that? It might even be better too that my hair is still a little bit wet. She's dry and stretched a little bit on the ends. So now I just have to figure out how to style it. This is what my curls look like. So I finished my hair. It is now five o'clock. I just finished editing a vlog, but this is what it looks like. So I'm definitely not used to it, but I think it looks cute. I'm trusting you. I wanted to end this vlog on my phone because it kind of derailed. Um, I broke up with my boyfriend and I'm really upset about it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Hoping that we can figure it out. Like, but yeah so i apologize that i missed a vlog miss and that this is going up later than it was meant to but i really haven't been feeling good and i'm trying to think of how i can keep doing vlogmas because mentally i am all over the place but i'm gonna try my best so if there's anything specific that you guys want to see let me know um i apologize again and yeah I know I, I don't share my relationship online or anything like that, but he's been in some of my videos and my mood is going to be greatly affected. So I just want you guys to know like where I'm at mentally. Like I said, I hope that him and I can figure stuff out. Like we're not like officially broken up. Basically he's in the process of leaving Chile right now. So our conversation has been very sporadic but he just travels a lot for work and he wants to add like even more traveling for pleasure and i'm just it just doesn't mesh well like his lifestyle is just not something that i can handle so yeah that's a little bit of the the reasoning behind that um so it's nothing that anyone did I don't know if it's something that can be fixed or changed, obviously, but that's why I say, like, you know, I'm hopeful, but 
it is what it is so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog anyways i did go ahead and reinstall this wig because although my hair was looking amazing if i do say so myself um i don't have the mental capacity to do that every day right now in my mental state and i just got my period so i was like let's just put this bad boy back on my head apparently i can cornrow now i'm really confused i literally sat down on my bed i was watching star trek which you can kind of see in the background and i just started doing my sides which i can always do like i can get them to be basically like cornrowed but i've only been able to do like a flat twist or kind of like a plait for the rest of my head and i did one of them and it was literally stuck to my scalp i was like i've never cornrowed in my life i've tried to and i've just never understood so i don't know guys big things are happening that's my silver lining of my life right now i know how to cornrow my hair it's amazing but I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you hopefully tomorrow.